We're all stood in the kitchen. Watching Doctor Who on the iPad. And we've done the washing up. <laughs> Apart from one. Dang it. <laughs> I'm feeling so much better today. Still feeling like rubbish, but I'm making progress on getting better and not feeling as ill. Still feel bunged up, still feel headachey, but I no longer feel achy like on my legs because I felt really achy on my legs yesterday. And I no longer feel like I have a really raw throat, so that's good. But I'm still gonna be spending most of the day in bed today, probably not sleeping, but playing games and watching YouTube and stuff, just chilling out because I don't really want to push myself to do work. Although this morning I have been writing up deadlines and figuring out when I should start deadlines and stuff like that. So yeah, I shouldn't have done that really. Wow. But, Sam, hey, hello. Hey, me, my face. I feel really <laughs> achy, but I'm going to try and get on with my run and get back into all of that. Today I'm probably going to work some more on the ECP wall, going to get some reading done because I don't want to be having to work at all tomorrow because it's mine and Michaela's anniversary. Tomorrow marks us being together for six years and engaged for one year. So it's kind of a biggie. I mean, six years is pretty much a quarter of our life. I've just been out my run and I actually managed 5k, which is good. But I just had one of the worst showers ever. We, um, we need to fix that because it's just spurting out, just scalding water. It's either scalding or it's freezing, so I was like, ah, hmm, ha, hmm, ha, the whole time. Not fun. I think Michaela's been doing a spot of work, but right now I'm gonna get her some lunch and I need to get like soap or conditioner out of my mouth because it got stuck in there as I was doing the whole, <laughs> which wasn't good. Not good. Michaela's laughing at me. She's laughing at me. How are you feeling, by the way? Are you, are you good? You're still bad. Well, I will fix that. Right now, sorry, I just spoke over what you were saying. I was just gonna say, I'm feeling hungry. Feeling hungry. And oh. that's making me feel a bit nausea. La la la. Well, I will fix that right now. Right, I'm gonna wrap something up, see what I can find. I made some salad for myself in the end. <laughs> and I also made these sweet corns, but Michaela's one doesn't look particularly appetizing. But there you go. Thank uh, you. And I made her a hot chocolate. Which so kind. I will steal. Yeah, I have this nice one, and um, yeah, Michaela's went a bit weird. My one, look at my one, right? That doesn't look particularly appetizing, does it? I think mine's dead on the inside, much like myself. Right now, we're gonna watch some YouTube, and then I'm gonna crack on with some work, and I think Michaela will as well. And I'm gonna bite that toe, Messi. Get you closer to me. So yeah, we're gonna go do that. If not, maybe rest. What are you gonna do? Uh, I'm probably gonna rest. I'm just writing up deadlines and it's taking me forever. It's looking very busy. <laughs> University life! Hashtag. Hashtag? I've just finished writing up some modular deadlines in my diary and I kind of had them written up in my diary like a couple of days ago or a week ago or something. But what I do is, is I work backwards from those deadlines and I work out exactly when I should really start working on an assignment. So what I'll do is, is I'll make sure I have it written in my diary when I should start an assignment and then when I should finish the assignment and make sure that when I finish it, it isn't too close to the deadline. And I'll also break up days by how many words I should write because that's kind of the best way I work because all my deadlines are pretty much at the end of November and if I didn't write up when exactly I should start assignments or how many words I should write a day then I'd just end up leaving all the assignments till the last minute and not really getting anything done and panicking because I'd have to write like 2,000 words in a day so that's what I've spent pretty much all day doing I should have really been staying in bed and relaxing and not stressing out because I have looked up on Freshers Flu and one of the reasons you get Freshers Flu is because of stress. Yeah, I probably should have just stayed in bed to be honest, but never mind. I think Sam has actually been working on something as well. He's been doing his presentation for his ECP. Oh, yeah, I've been doing stuff. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. It looks awesome. Like I've no idea I finished it. But it's got two little slides. <laughs> I have two yeah. slides. Yeah, they look awesome. Yeah. 
I'm, oh, I'm loving it though. I was supposed to do the rest of this, and I probably will do that. I've still got to go to the shop, grab some energy drinks later. Yeah, he has to still fill in the gaps with like little notes. I'm gonna leave Sam to do his work now. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go and relax and play some games, I think. I'm gonna play some Call of Duty online. I'm gonna infect them with my freshers flu by killing them. <laughs> oh, by the way, we're going out tomorrow, so I hope I feel better by tomorrow. Otherwise, that's not gonna be good. Okay, guys, this is an absolute first. We were just looking out to the kitchen because Michaela's lost her iPad and for some reason we were looking in the garden from the kitchen and we have just seen a cat attack a snake. <laughs> Should we go out there? Yeah, I'm going to We've got to be nice and quiet though so we don't actually start up the cat. Okay, so the cat's disappeared. It's here somewhere. Oh, okay. Can you see it? <laughs> cat's running away up the gut. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many spiders! <laughs> see, now you've told me that, I've just walked into that. <laughs> Thank you, Kayla, why are you barefoot? It was definitely a snake. Yeah, it was definitely a snake. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're not gonna see the snake, unfortunately. But that was freaky. That was really quite surprising. Like, there has definitely been snakes here before, but not in the garden. I mean, on the Heathland. Weird. Weird. I don't mind snakes, but blah, 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 blah. what if there is next door snake and it's got out or something? Is that a possibility? Then we're kind of screwed. I looked up on that snake that we saw earlier. It was from what I remember, yellow and black, and it was very small. So I typed that in on Google, and there was one that said, I can't remember what name it was, but it pretty much looked like it, apart from it was a bit longer. But then that one outside that we saw could have been a baby one. But apparently, it's from North America or somewhere. Mm. So I'm not really sure how that's here. So it could possibly be someone's pet Does just it eat got out. Does it eat? No. Oh, it apparently, if that is the one, it's not venomous and it would barely, wo it won't ever bite pretty much. It will bite, but it'll bite like, not very often. <laughs> but Sam's been really productive doing work and he's now gonna rush out to Sainsbury's real quick cause he's got some things to get. And he's gonna get us some dinner and we've decided on nachos because okay. why not? In other words, Michaela has decided she wants nachos. I gotta be quick cause we're all watching TV in a minute. We got Doctor Who to watch. That's part of the reason why we're getting nachos. That's sadly the only thing we actually watch on TV besides, was it, uh, Glue. But yeah, I've got to go. Yeah. Oh, bye! Right, I'm going to go back upstairs now, and then when Sam gets back, we're going to put on those nachos. And it's going to be awesome, and we're going to have jalapenos and salsa, and it's going to be amazing. It will be amazing. Sam's just got back from Sainsbury's, and he got the nachos! Woohoo! Wow, so good! <laughs> <laughs> we're all stood in the kitchen. Watching Doctor Who on the iPad, and we've done the washing up. <laughs> Apart from one! Dang it. Okay, catch up time, guys. Uh, we finished watching Doctor Who, and then we watched a uh, stand-up routine by Jeff Dunham. Uh, he's the guy who did, like, Ahmed the Dead Terrorist, that sort of thing. I need to watch some more stand-up, because I just, I dig it. I watch quite a lot at the beginning of the summer, and I was determined to watch it about, like, once a day, maybe, but I just didn't catch on. So yeah, I've been doing some work for the past few hours, and I realised I didn't get any of the stuff that I need for the ECP wall. So tomorrow when we go out, hopefully I'll pick some of that stuff up. But as for right now, I think we're going to call it a night. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe and we will see you tomorrow. For dinner, I am doing a two-part course for Michaela. Firstly, we have these smoothie, which is going to be very loud. And voila, this movie is done. Okay, I should hopefully enjoy that. It's actually very fruity and very healthy. So, part one of Make Michaela Better is operational. I'm going to turn the light on if that's alright.